Well, we have an early warning weather alert now because of wind, and the wind could be quite strong. In fact, gusts 40 to 50 to even 60 miles an hour are possible uh, going into tonight, but especially tomorrow. I think tomorrow during the day is going to be the windiest time. So there is this high wind warning for tonight and tomorrow. It extends into to tomorrow evening and it encompasses the entire state of Connecticut and beyond. We haven't had that much wind now. Uh, gusts went up to 34 miles an hour earlier on today in Groton, but the winds have since actually calmed for a while. And that's after having had an upwards of close to an inch of rain in places like parts of New Haven. You see at the foot school and also at the academy how uh, there was close to an inch of rain. In Groton, we saw about eight tenths of an inch of rain and a little bit up the pike there in Middlefield. We had about six or seven tenths of an inch of rain with all of the liquid we had today. But the wind is the thing we're going to see starting to grow. By midnight, we'll start to see the wind pipe up and especially into tomorrow morning. Gusts could go over 40 miles an hour at this point and throughout the rest of the day tomorrow. In fact, gusts to 50 and in just a few unprotected areas, not widespread, but just in a few areas, we could see those gusts pipe up to 60 miles an hour, especially on the hilltops and maybe out on the ledge. And some of those locations like in Lebanon, where you have just field after field and it's unprotected, you might have that 55 to 60 mile an hour gust. What does that translate into tomorrow? The possibility for some power outages. It's all because of the storm system that first brought us the wintry mix and rain. We're sort of in a lull right now. The field of wind is actually back here where you see this corridor of snow shower activity. This is also in tandem with that strong wind. So that's going to be crossing New York State and coming in here tonight and tomorrow. There's no precipitation now on early morning pinpoint Doppler, but we're watching for a few more isolated showers and it looks drizzly and still wet out there. Here's our eye camera over New Haven and you can see Hartford. We still have a little bit of that fog lingering as well as in Torrington. It looks rather wet. The good thing about the wind, though, as it's coming in, anything that's wet will actually have a tendency to dry up as temperatures fall. So even though we're expecting readings to cool off as the wind stirs, that actually will dry what is wet and make it not so treacherous with the iciness. You can see, though, we'll have that partly cloudy sky to start tomorrow. That's the nice part about tomorrow. But what you can't really see and what you really never can see is the moving particles of air the wind, you just feel it, and man, you will tomorrow. Here it is, 9 o'clock in the morning through noon and into the afternoon. Very strong wind. As the wind starts to relax to our west, it will then finally be able to collect some moisture off the lakes. What that might start to do is produce a few snow showers or flurries in western Connecticut for a while tomorrow evening. I wouldn't be surprised if we have a minor coating on the ground in places like Kent and Salisbury as a result of that, maybe Sharon too. But most of us wouldn't see that. And you see through Tuesday, it's just partly sunny. And the good thing about Tuesday, although it's breezy, it's not that exceeding wind that we'll have tomorrow. So the high wind starts tonight with lows in the upper 20s. Tomorrow we're expecting a colder day than today with highs anywhere from 30 in Salisbury to 35 in Hartford to 39 in New London and Groton. But those gusts could be 40, 50, even 60 miles an hour at times during the day tomorrow. And that's why we highlight it as an early warning weather alert. Tuesday's quiet. It starts to cloud up Wednesday. And Wednesday is our next system that we're watching. So let's take a look at Futurecast. This is a clipper that's going to be coming by late Wednesday and into Thursday. Now the models are better in better agreement that this thing could give us some snow, uh, a period of snow that could accumulate some. Here's what the GFS is saying on this right now. You can see a couple to four inches of snow. Uh, the European isn't quite as much on this, but it is showing more than it has been. So we are more in believing that as we look towards Wednesday and Thursday, especially late Wednesday, early Thursday, something's coming.